The boundary surface feature works very similar to the surface loft tool, but allows you to create surfaces that can be tangent or curvature continuous in either direction, delivering a higher quality result. I'll begin by activating the boundary surface tool from the surfaces toolbar. Under the property manager, we must first specify direction one. With the window active, I'll select both curves. Keep in mind, when selecting the second curve, you want to click on approximately the same point to prevent twisting. If your surface does end up incorrect, you can right-click on an edge from inside the selection window and select Flip Connectors to try and fix it. As you can see, each curve is added as an edge inside the window, and you can activate either one by highlighting it. I'll activate Edge 1, and here I can select its tangency type. We have several types. I can choose from Direction Vector, Normal to Profile, Tangency to Face, and Curvature to Face. For a full explanation of what each option does, you can look in the SOLIDWORKS help under Boundary Surface Property Manager. For this edge, I'll go ahead and select Tangency to Face. Notice that the preview has immediately updated and the edge listed has changed to include Tangent. I'll leave the alignment and draft angle as they are and continue to the tangent length. I can either adjust this value with the spin box or I can adjust it by dragging the arrow in the graphics area. Now I'll switch to the second edge. I'll activate Edge 2 by clicking on it, and this time, I'll choose Curvature to Face as its tangent type. At this point, we're finished defining Direction 1. Now let's continue to the second direction. I'll go ahead and activate the Direction 2 window and select both guide curves. Notice as I did this, the Direction 1 tangent type values changed to only display Tangent Influence. This is just another way to specify the tangent type. I also want to point out a new drop-down box that defines the curve influence type, which now appears under both directions. Again, you have several different option types to choose from. I'll leave these set at global. With both directions defined, I can click the green check and the boundary surface is complete. 